It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Los Angeles Rams. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. To me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Vikings offense making their way out behind their former number three overall pick, who spent his last year as a 49er. It's Sam Darnold. And he's still been looking for that one situation to allow all of his talents to come together. He's hoping that he found it here. Plenty of playmakers on the outside and a team that's willing to run the football to let his talent shine. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Again, it's Jones. Taken down at the 42. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down at six now from the 42. To throw is Darnold. Finds his man. There's Jordan Addison. He's to the 15. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 53 yards. Oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Jones is in touchdown minnesota well that was a quick drive the passing game set it up and then the running game finishes it off and how about how few plays it was to get it done but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone and as a former defender i can tell you it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it Extra point attempt here still to come. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. A drive there of just four plays. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones.
Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The L.A. offense going to go to work for the first time, and it is the veteran Matthew Stafford at the helm in his 16th NFL season and fourth with the Rams. Stafford is one of those quarterbacks who didn't get the credit he deserved for the majority of his career due to the fact he's playing on teams that often didn't make the playoffs. But that narrative emphatically changed when he changed his surroundings and won a Super Bowl with the Rams. He's had a few injuries in the intervening years, but now that he's fully healthy, he plans on getting his team back into the championship conversation. A uh, first run now for Kyron Williams. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Williams going to get it again on second down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Stafford. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game. They started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. Extra point forthcoming. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Stafford here coming off his pick six. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of a game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. 
So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And he'll pick up about three there up to the 43. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Now it's Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Now a second and six. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And that one complete downfield to cup. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 23. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Jonathan Bullard able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. To throw is Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So the three points there in CD that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down almost back to the drawing board. Jefferson going to go in motion right. Now it's Darnold. And his throw here is incomplete. Trying to find Jordan Addison that time. But it's going to be second down. Now Darnold. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Play action. It's Darnold. Completes it to the fullback hand. And he will have a Vikings first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And they pick up a first down, and that came out of the fullback position. But as you and I both know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a fullback playing in that spot. Well, times have changed, right? The old school fullback doesn't really exist anymore. We're not getting that same player out of college. With all the spread offenses, not very many pro style, we actually have a true fullback. We're having to make do in the NFL and put guys in that spot who emulate it but aren't necessarily that position. From the 38 now, here's second and six. Back to throw, Darnold. That's caught downfield by Addison. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 27 yards there, a first down. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet, as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's a give to Jones running left. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they will pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Darnold. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Josh Oliver from four yards out as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. 
That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Point after here coming up. And it's 21 to 3. A 10 play drive that time. And it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. It and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Out of the gun, Stafford. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think it. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Up the middle, it's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Back to throw, Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Stafford to his number one guy, Cup, for a Los Angeles first. the counter here's Williams and he will possibly get back to the line of scrimmage that's it on the other hand it will definitely take us to the end of the first quarter of play 21 to 3 is your score after one the Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and ten Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. 
This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The Rams on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. A shotgun snap for Stafford. That is caught. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And this is caught. Touchdown. Demarcus Robinson. 36 yards. And the Rams are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. So that drive in total eight plays, and the result for the Rams, a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Darnold. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. Up the middle, Jones. Oh, good move. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards, first down, Vikings. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's second and three. Faking the give, Darnold. This one swung out here to Jones. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. And third and one now. 
Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Off of play action, Darnold. They'll roll him out right. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. On third down, the defense decided to blitz. A very good job of recognizing it, stepping away from the pressure, and finding open space to scramble and pick up a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And here's Jones again on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Darnold now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings are able to add on to that lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And the lead is up to 18 now. That time, a nine-play drive. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The football going back to the Rams now. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace... This drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Stafford. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. He was able to get away initially on that play, but ultimately not much space to roam. Great job there by them containing him because you mentioned 
He got away initially, and how many times does that end up with a guy taking off for 15 or 20 yards? Here, the support was there, and they made the tackle for a loss. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way. And they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. From the 50 at Stanford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. 38-yard line, second and nine. They run it again with Williams. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 62 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Now Stafford. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. A quick throw there is incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Stafford. Open man is Atwell complete. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away.
And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. They'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, they've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running game. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 46, here's second and three. Here's Darnold. Addison hauls it in. Then he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Here's a jet sweep. This is Addison. Oh, this one him may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. To throw is Darnold. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 23 yards the pick up there. And he's gotten to the stage of his career where Justin Jefferson is the type of receiver that doesn't matter what the coverage is, quarterbacks are going to throw him the football, and he picks up a first down there. When he's on the field, he makes a strong case as the best receiver in the NFL because he knows how to get open no matter how many people are around him. Now it's Darnold. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And the Vikings are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Darnold to throw again. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. One back in the game, that's Jones, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle, and he will score! Touchdown, Vikings! Aaron Jones on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Vikings continue to pull away here this first half. So his big first half continues, his third touchdown already. 
We'll have to keep watch as this game goes along how much they want to continue to ride him because he could be on his way to a record-setting performance. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Well, now how about this return? And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play... You would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Now Stafford. Now he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Now it's Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout. Their second as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you <laughs> got to keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Here's Stafford. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Throwing again at Stafford. That is caught. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. To throw is Stafford. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. So we hit halftime with our visitors, the Vikings, taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report.
in that first half. It was the veteran Aaron Jones who had it going. He was running with a purpose as he found the end zone three times in that first half. And that opposing defense had better come up with a scheme for slowing him down. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 27. He'll look to Williams to begin things. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Two yards to go, second down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 81 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Back to throw, Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and nine. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he's got it across the midfield strike and into Viking territory. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Off of play action, here's Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Stafford. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Now a second and ten. Oh, 
Throwing is Stanford. Robinson's got it. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Colby Parkinson from 10 yards out. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point period in practice now, something they never really did before. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Vikings offense had Aaron Jones headed back onto the field. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Darnold. Complete. Jefferson to target. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. But backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Darnold now to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and the Rams will go on offense here for the first and ten. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford set to take over once again. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him, and he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Stafford. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know that we've seen their share of struggles, and the quarterback's been hit a few times in this game, but this one can't be put on the offensive line. They gave him plenty of time to throw the football. I think ultimately, he has to be a lot more decisive in his decision-making and get rid of it and find an open target. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Able to fight through one tackle. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. The Vikings offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of the halftime talk for this defense. We've got to find a way to slow him down. That's probably what they're saying. But nothing that they have done has worked so far. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. And inside give to Jones. And a scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Here's Darnold. He completes this into the hands of Jefferson. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Another one on this play for Justin Jefferson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. A check down here to Jones. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. To throw is Darnold. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. To the air again, Darnold. 
Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Back to throw, Darnold. Flushed out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Now that was a passer's nightmare. A front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this one is right through. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And this is going to be roughing the kicker an inexcusable penalty, Charles. You've worked so hard to hold him to a three-point kick. Now you give him the ball again with a chance for a touchdown. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down. What a big break. Leads to a first and ten. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Aaron Jones, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings take a three-touchdown lead. You get in a second-and-long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Now the try here for the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Rams ready to go on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. It's complete to Robinson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Open man right side is cut complete. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46.
Just need a yard here, second and one. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. That penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and ten. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. He'll get this down to the 38. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six. Here's Stafford. Finding Williams on the check down. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And now third down and six to go. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 23. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Colby Parkinson. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead will be cut down to 14. A drive that time of six plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The visitor's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack 
is a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. The Vikings on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. And here's Ryan right now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10. Just shy of the 30. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Defensively, Harrison Phillips there to stop him. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Now Stafford. They'll find a man over the middle, 2-2 Atwell. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. They need 12 here. It's third down. Stafford. Right back to Atwell. That's complete. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. This will wind up a loss on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snap, and they're there and end up making the play. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Of the Vikings offense and Justin Jefferson set to take over once more. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early, and it has paid giant rewards to this stage of the game. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. But even with that broken tackle, can't get very far. Stops short of the 30. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Now Darnold. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now it's Darnold.
And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. The Rams offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 110 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Here's Stafford. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now carry number 20 of the game. Here's Williams. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure. Blitz coming, and down he goes. And he'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. The pressure that time right up the middle, and he was able to wiggle in there pretty easily and get the sack. Yeah, sometimes you end up getting caught in a little bit of a breakdown about who to block up front, and that creates the gap there. And he took full advantage, got to the quarterback, and finished off the sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Stafford now to throw. Open man is Atwell, complete. And a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. Third and 12. Now Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. Going up top for Cup. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And the Vikings are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay.
Justin Jefferson and the rest of this offense, they've got their helmets back on and they're ready for this next series. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. After the interception, here's Darnold. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it, an in route, going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. Second and 10. Darnold. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Here's Darnold. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Here's second and seven. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones pushing through the contact. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run again. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now Jones, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? 
Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll go again to Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Here's Jones. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It'll be a gain of 5, but they're still left with a long fourth and goal. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Here's second and ten. Stafford. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one certainly was and I think both sides compete against each other all the time you go to each other in practice obviously your training camps your off season but on game day you both want to show your best and I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense a complete team victory